Hi guys, it's Jenna Pache here for Web 2.0 Television, New York City. We're standing in this unseasonably warm day in the middle of January. It's crazy, it's beautiful out here in the Meatpacking District at the Ed Hardy store. Let's go inside, we're going to talk to Raylan Hennessy and try on some outfits. Raylan, I want to thank you so much for having us here. Not a problem. It's my pleasure to have you guys here. Um, welcome to Ed Hardy. This is my world of fashion and art and tattoos and fun. We just have a good time. Rock and so roll. Rock and roll, baby. So can you tell us a little bit about Ed Hardy? He is the inspiration for this, correct? Yes, all this beauty cannot come from just myself. This <laughs> is Ed Hardy, and he's been the original, uh, basically, tattoo artist of our time. He's the godfather of tattoo created all of these images, all of these different, the animals, the skulls, started all from World War II. And then it just became color tattoo madness there. And everybody and their mom wants to have their Ed Hardy. And then we have Christian Audigier who came and he's the designer. He's the, the mind and creator of all of this. He got together with Ed. I, I like to consider it like hip hop mixed with glam rock. And I think oh, it's quite brilliant. That's a perfect description, my dear. So how long have you guys been here in the meatpacking district? We have been in the meatpacking district since July. So it's like six seven months. And you just got back from Australia, right? Australia. We just opened two stores in Melbourne and Noosa. And they are, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely stunning. The whole the whole collection, it just no matter, it just it further proves that no matter where you put something like this, it's going to take off. Well, and there's also a location in L.A. Are there any other locations? Uh, yep, we started out in L.A. And I mean, it caught on like wildfire. Literally within six months, it went from something that was just an idea for us kids that we loved and the rock and roll and the tattoo to everybody wearing it. Madonna, Missy Elliott, Rachel Hunter, Lenny Kravitz, everybody that you can think of is wearing it. I, I see it all the time on Hogan Knows Best. Hogan. Every member of that family I wears Ed I love those wrestling <laughs> fools because they are wearing us like it is going out of style. I have to say that having this clothing store in the meatpacking district I feel has totally changed the face of the way that people dress around here. Everybody's walking around and you think it's a rock star. You think it's Justin Timberlake walking down the street, you know? Well, and that's the thing. It cracks me up because that's what, that's really what gets you solidified as A-list is when you go into the club and you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans and you're the coolest one there. No matter what, we're always the most different item that you'll find. And we are the, you know, we're the spirit of rock and roll. I think you guys are the ones that created the rock star baby. Could you tell us a little bit about the, the children's line and, and when did that start? Oh, the little pumpkins. And you know what? I would have to agree with you. We did. We started getting these kids looking cool because uh, we've got our whole kids line 2 to 12 in the sneakers and the hats and the hoodies. And basically you can get the whole look. You can have mom, dad, dog looking alike. So what are we standing in front of? Christian Audugier, correct? This is Christian Audugier. Audugier. Audugier is very French and it's very important. He's got his rights. Christian has two different lines. He has his own private label, which is very couture. Only a thousand of each piece versus the two thousand of each piece Ed Hardy does, which okay. is still couture. All right, well, let's go pick out some stuff. I want to try some of this on. Let's do it. Wait until you see it all come together. It's like a, it's right. like a metamorphosis yes. of greatness. I believe it. Look so cute. You see them all. Oh, I love it. Look at you. Do the little twirl. Okay. When you thought you loved the boy like and do you, do you mostly wear Ed Hardy on your free time? I mean, when you're daily damn basis. This is lifestyle. This is not just clothing and not just wearing jeans and not just wearing a pair of shoes. This is a lifestyle. I live and breathe Ed Hardy. And you go out and it makes a statement. This says something to people. You know, it gives you an opportunity to express yourself. And so that's what I'm doing on a daily basis. And I get a kick out of it. I hope you all enjoyed our visit here to Ed Hardy in the Meatpacking District. Again, we're on 13th Street between 9th and Washington. If you're in the area, please stop by. Raylan would love to hook you up. You can also visit their website at www.donedhardy.com. For Web 2.0 Television New York City, it's Jenna Pache. There's more to come. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.